Welcome to Around the Dog World in a slightly soggy Surrey countryside. We're here at the magnificent Lowesley Park for Richmond Championship Dog Show 2013. <laughs> Last year, our cameras were just here to watch Best in Show. But in 2013, we want to spend a little longer in the Surrey Parkland. So we are here all this weekend to watch all the groups and Best in Show, and we've got expert reaction from Di Johnson. And this weekend, we want to take a look at the basics of UK dog showing, how a dog becomes best of breed, what a judge is looking for, and how you should get started as an exhibitor. Now, since our last programme, we actually haven't missed any shows, so we can go straight to the group ring with our first group, The Hounds. This is tonight judged by Mark Kokosa. This is the Afghan Hound. Please show your appreciation for our shortlist. 979, sent to by Leslie Buzz. And the Bloodhound, 1186, sent through by Linda Kolichinsky. <laughs> now we have the Deerhound, 1414. <laughs> the Irish Wolfhound, 1475. the hound group was the Rhodesian Ridgeback and I'm joined by Karen Lynn who's the owner. Now tell us a little bit about Duke. Duke is he's now just 27 months old and that was his ninth ticket today. He has five reserve tickets and he won the group at Birmingham National. Um, I think the Ridgeback was a, you know he's a lovely mature masculine dog. He wasn't coarse, very very sound dog and he really looked like he could do the job he was bred to do. It wasn't his first group win, but it seemed to be a big surprise to you. As the judge walked towards you. <laughs> I hadn't even, even got my head looked up. The first I knew it would come across the mic. He never pointed. I would got my head down on the dog, so I was, I was shocked. And it sounded like Duke's Flan Club, they were really pleased. They were really pleased. He's so well loved because he's such a super dog. He's got an amazing temperament. Just everybody in the Ridgebacks, they, they absolutely adore him. You know, I thought overall it was a pretty good group. I thought there was two dogs stood away, you know, and then beyond that there was, you know, there was a lot of consistency. It was quite even. Um, 
the Whippet was a lovely young bitch and, you know, she just needs a little bit of time and maturity, but that was a very close decision between both. Thank you very much, Mark. Okay. Charles Spaniel, number 565. <laughs> the miniature pincher, 7101. sponsored by Natural Instinct of Camberley is the Smooth Coat Chihuahua number 257. In second place, it's the Bichon Frise number 46. So the winner of the toy group was the Smooth Coat Chihuahua. This is Misty. He's 15 months old and owned by Amy. Yes, uh, owned by myself and Jean Day. And he's won before just only a couple of months ago. Yeah, actually he won at um, the SKC Championship Show. He got the toy group and reserve best in show. Is it quite unusual for a small breed like this to be a top winning dog and winning well in groups at such a young age? Uh, it can be in the toy group, especially with a, a smooth coated breed. So you've not got the glamour of all the long coats of, you know, the Maltese and the Papillons and things like that. So hopefully they have to be a really good one to sort of win that young and win in the toy group, which is such a strong group at the moment. Yeah, it seemed to be today. And um, what were your thoughts on sort of the other dogs in there? Was there anything that you thought, oh no, that's my oh, competition? No, they're, they're all beautiful dogs. I love the King Charles family. It's one of my favourites. I've always said that since it was, you know, a young dog, and I used to see it in the groups, and they're all beautifully presented and handled. So, well, yeah. congratulations! Looks like Misty wants <laughs> to uh, <laughs> wants to go down, so we'll let him go. And uh, congratulations, and we'll see you on Sunday. Okay, thank you very much. Welcome back to day two of Around the Dog World. Now, Di, yesterday was the turn of toys and hounds. Our hound winner was the lovely Rhodesian Ridgeback. Yeah, super. Good judge, efficient, efficient judging. Mark Kakosa. Uh, Rhodesian Ridgeback, we've admired before. It was strong entry, 81 dogs, breed judge, Mrs. P.M. Saunders. He's called Duke at home, <laughs> but he impressed us. He was agile, but he had strength, and we liked him a lot. Another breed that came through from a strong entry yeah. was the smooth-coated Chihuahua. Now, that little star, Marina, have you spotted <laughs> that before? Only 15 months, second group, 
And interesting, it was Mervyn Evans, who's been a loyal and wonderful worker for the Welsh Kennel Club for years, first group, and that little star emerged. She's a joy. Funnily enough, she didn't get placed in a group at Birmingham, and we were all surprised that she stood, stands away to us. A delight. Her, the judge there was Patrick McDevitt. Interesting, both came through through breed. Breed so judges, both yesterday's nice. winners came through from breed yes, specialists? Yes, yes, which is nice. Is that important nice. when you get into the group level? No, but it's just nice to know we've got good breed judges. We know we've got good all-rounders, but it's, it's, very, it's a joy for a breed judge to see their dog go on. Thrill. Thank you, Di, and we'll catch up with you a little later on. Thank you, Marina. Hope so. Now, when we see a dog in the group ring, we know it has beaten all other dogs in its breed on that day and is therefore the best of breed. But how do they get this far in the first place? In the breed ring, the breed is broken up into sexes and classes within each sex. The classes start from minor puppy, six to nine month old dogs, and veteran for dogs older than seven years. The classes are age or qualification related, and in breeds with a greater entry like Labradors, there are more classes than there are in a smaller breed like a Celian Terrier. The breed judge first examines all the males, and then they move each dog in a class and places them first to fifth, starting with the youngest class of puppies making their way up to open dog, the class where more often than not has the most quality as the dogs are fully mature. Once all the males have been judged and we know all of our class winners, all the unbeaten dogs return to the ring for the judge to choose best dog and reserve. And if CCs are enough for the breed, the dog CC and reserve dog CC. And finally, best puppy dog. And then this is repeated for the bitches. Class is judged and award the best bitch or bitch CC and reserve. And now we have our dog and bitch CC winners. They go head to head for best of breed. The judge tends to move them again. If the decision is tight, he or she might want to move the dogs more than before. And finally, the judge points to the best dog or best bitch for best of breed. The one who will go forward to represent the breed in the group ring.
the one last spot. We'll be able to conjure at 4 2 double one. The boxer, 3 5 4 1. Completing the placings. Great day number 3 7 4 7. Let's have a big hand for our shortest kid. Best of dreamers at leading the men, please. Thank you very much. Congratulations on their biggest star. The new talent, the Bouvier de Cargo, the boxer, and the great day. Congratulations. The winner of the working group at Richmond 2013 was the Newfoundland Sand Bear Stride and Style. Congratulations, Suzanne. Thank you. Uh, that's not his first group, is it? No, it's his third group. Fantastic. fantastic. Yeah. We saw him winning a couple uh, early on last year. He won the group at the National and then went on to win Best in Show. And fantastic. he won the group at the National Working in Pastoral and went on to get Best in Show. So he's got a good record of going a little further. He has. <laughs> now, David Cavill was the judge in there. David, tell us a little bit. A little bit about what you thought of that Newfoundland in there. I thought it was a fantastic dog, and I've seen it before, mm. but it's so together. Mm. Its conformation and its structure is so sound, and you see that on the move because yeah. it flows across the ground very beautifully. It's got lovely, lovely coat, superb head and expression, holds its head and neck very, very well yeah. indeed. It's a, a remarkable example of the breed. Overall, I would like to see it marginally larger, but... <laughs> That's a very minor point. As an example of the breed, it's brilliant. And what about the working group as a whole? What do you think of that? Um, well, by and large, it was a good working group, and certainly my final eight was excellent. I was very pleased with the Neapolitan Mastiff because we always sort of tend to run them down a bit. But that is a very good example of the breed, and it's very sound. People in Neapolitan Mastiff need to know that this is the sort of dog that they're looking for. But I thought that my final four were particularly good. Well, thank you very much for speaking to us. Congratulations, Suzanne. Best of luck for Best in Show. Thank you very much. This is the Australian Shepherd 2480, sent through the room by Irene Green. The Ford Collie 2687, the Best of Green by Ben Reynolds Frost. The Briar 2809, awarded best of breed by Kay Graves. Stuart Howard's choice, Rock Collies, number 2823.
Now, Britt, you were the judge of this year's pastoral group at Richmond. You had some top winners in there. How did you split them? It was very, very difficult. I was so proud and felt very honoured that I had such good quality under me. In the end, you had to just break it down to the eight and then the final four. If there was more prizes, I would have given more prizes out. That was how I felt today. Good quality. Well, the top prize you gave to the Australian Shepherds. Yes. Um, I could not deny it. <laughs> I judged them for the very first time ooh, many, many years ago when they first came into this country. And I was so delighted to see how sound they were when they came into this country. And I have to say, many, many years later, they are of equal good quality for soundness, movement, construction. Couldn't deny her the group. Well, thank you very much for joining us, Brian. Welcome. Thanks. Smooth Fox Terrier 2037, Tom Johnson's choice for best of breed today. The Norwich Terrier 2145, sent through to the group by Jeff Corridge. the new chairman was sat in the audience tonight? Yes. What would you ask him? To care. To care about us a bit more. To remember that the Kennel Club is supposed to be for the furtherance of pedigree dogs and we are pedigree dogs. They stopped my life effectively for mistakes. I see myself as the judge that was banned. Please. 
And perhaps we can see our winners go round, starting off with the group winner, the Airedale Terrier. Followed by the Border Terrier, the Sky Terrier, and the West Highland White Terrier. The Terry Group winner at Richmond 2013 was the Airedale Katarina's Land Spicy Cherry of Saradon. John, how many wins is that now for? I think that's her fifth group win, including National oh, Terrier, so yeah. Fantastic. And she's not been long in the country either. No, her show was April, which she wow. won, so she's had a brilliant start to the year. Uh, tell us a, a little bit about her, her background, because she's she obviously came into the country. Where was that from? She's from Estonia. We sent a dog out to Estonia, which they used at Stud, right. uh, and she, she was a, a puppy out of the litter, Fantastic. and we had the puppy back, and this is her. <laughs> so we're out of the moon with her. Yeah, of course. Uh, well, thank you very much, and best of luck for Best in Show. The The judge of the Terry Group was Harry O'Donoghue, Thank you very much, Harry. Now, uh, tell us a little bit about your Terry group. What do you think of the overall quality? Well, some very nice dogs, mm. and um, without a doubt, she was the best. <laughs> There's no question about that. She looked the part, she's trimmed well, she walked well, and I liked her very much. Uh, there were some other nice dogs, but of course, this one took my eye best of all. Uh, tell us about your placing, the, the two, three, and four. Uh, the two is a, a border terrier, a very nice one, quite a young one. We'll have a, a nice future, no question yeah. about that. The third one was a top-class guy terrier mm. that performed very, very well. And the fourth was a West Highland White, looked apart, performed very well, presented beautifully. Yeah, pristine. Pris yes. And we have to make a choice. So I felt that this was a better representative of the breed. And do you think she can go on to best in show now? She will, with a bit of luck. <laughs> Thank you very much, Harry. All right, thank you. Three groups on day two of Richmond Championship Show. And Di, we started with the working group. Mm -hmm. um, and we've seen this Newfoundland winning before. A, a we have. Winner. Didn't Andrew Brace give it a best in show last year? And gave it a group, then went on to best yeah, in show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's lovely shape. Mm. A good, honest dog, wasn't yeah. it? Yes, well, well, nice winner. And the Bouvier, of course, top winner. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but not as exciting today, perhaps. We've seen him better, haven't we? The, the judge said that he felt he wasn't on, wasn't on top form. Yeah, I think the judge is right. Yeah. 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 So, um, um, we moved on to the pastoral group. Yes. Um, Runner-up top dog yeah. at the moment, yeah. Tiffany, takes yeah. another group win. Yes, and she looked lovely, didn't she? she? Did. she yeah. Did. And that beautiful Shetland sheepdog, who incidentally had won the champion class as well today. And, and clearly best of breed. That was yes. close to a lovely triple crown. Yes. <laughs> yes. But what a quality little yeah. animal that is. Yeah, it? definitely. Oozes quality. Definitely. Yes, two nice groups. And we saw it winning the group at Bournemouth last month. Yeah. Uh, we also saw winning the group at Bournemouth last month, the Airedale Terrier. Yes, lovely Airedale. Good kennel, strong kennel, always feels good stock, nice handler. We do get some dogs, don't yeah. we, from all over the world. Yeah. And yeah, it's a good hobby, isn't it? Well, thank you very much, Di. <laughs> we should catch up with you again tomorrow. Nice to see you. Sure, sure it's going to entertain us to see these dogs once again. So please do show your support for these finalists on making it this far. This is the Akita, 4236, and through to the group by David Roberts. The Boston Terrier, 4268. And sent through to the group by Rodney Olden. French Bulldog, 4524. And Gatton's choice as best of three. Now we have 4672, the Gazons. Sent through to the group by Sheila Jacob. Now we have the miniature Poodle, 4842. Awarded best of three. J. Harry Griffiths. A standard Google 4884, awarded best degree by Adrian Harry Coxon. Now we have 4973, the Zarpe, sent through by David Cavill. Leading to our shortlist, the Shih Tzu, number 5025. Awarded Best of Breed by Mark James. We're very pleased at Richmond that our groups have all been sponsored by Natural Instinct of Camberley this year, who have awarded £25 for our Group 1 and Group 2, and £15 for Group 3 and Group 4 in the product voucher.
And the winner of the utility group here at Richmond Championship Dog Show 2013 goes to number 4884, the Standard Poodle. Italian Spinoni, 5796, our Woodward's choice of best three today. The Pointer, 5940. The best three today, Frank Penny Westaway. Murray's choice of best of three, the golden retriever, number 6283. The Columbus Spaniel, 6503. Set through to the group by David Shields. The Cocker Spaniel, 6613. Awarded best of three by Lorraine Carr. Now we have the Welsh Spring Spaniel, number 6854. Awarded best of three by Mrs. A. Wexler. And last by no means least, the Vibrana, 6943. Awarded best of three by David Bell. And the winner of the working of the gun dog group rather at Richmond Championship Dog Show 2013 is the Cocker Spaniel 6613. seven group winners for Best in Show here at Richmond. But first we have another dog show guide for beginners. This one a guide to what a judge is looking for, filmed back at City of Birmingham. Welcome to City of Birmingham 2013. Now for the benefit of some of the viewers that might not know a great deal about dog showing in the UK, we have come to Ring 15 at City of Birmingham for the Beagle judging. And I'm joined by this weekend's Best in Show judge, Andrew Brace. And Andrew, this happens to be a breed you know something about. <laughs> Some would say. Um, yeah, beagles have been a very big part of my life and uh, I've enjoyed quite a little bit of success <laughs> with several beagles over the years. So, yeah, I think I do know a little bit about them. Now, we're just about to watch some of the judging. You're going to take us through the basics. Yeah. 
judging dogs is um, a little bit of a mystery to some people and they don't fully understand the logistics of what the judge is doing when they're actually in the ring. So today we're just going to talk them through the rudimentary procedure, what judges are looking for, and how they decide which dog is going to be first, which dog is going to be second. So now let's go and take a look and try to explain to the viewers exactly what Deborah is doing when she's going over these beagles. So the first thing that the judge is doing is standing back and looking at the overall picture, the outline and the general balance of the dog. She now stands well back and assesses the head, expression and the forehand. She puts her hands on the dog and checks the mouth, which in a beagle of course should be a regular scissor bite, and then run, runs her hands along the body, checking the length of neck, the angulation of the shoulder, the length of the upper arm, the spring of rib, the top line and down to the hind quarters, also running her hand up the tail. She then stands, stands back to get a good view of the hind quarters and then another final view of the profile. So she'll now ask the handler to move this bitch up and down or possibly in a triangle. I think she's actually favoring a triangle from what I've seen earlier. So she's now looking at the rear movement, which should be quite parallel. Now she's looking at the profile and assessing the reach in front and the drive behind. And now as the bitch walks towards her, she's checking how parallel the front limbs are. Now once more, up and down, just to reaffirm what she saw on the original movement pattern. And now she'll take a final look at the overall picture again looking at the balance, the outline, and the general shape of the bitch in front of her. If you're watching these programs and are thinking that you may like to join us in the show dog world, why not? You'll have a lot of fun. But start gently, go to two or three shows first and suss out what is happening so that you're not going in sight unseen. Get yourself a puppy. Doesn't have to be wonderful, your first one. Begin at smaller shows, go to club shows if you can find them, or open shows. Remember, the whole point is for it to be fun. Fun for you and your dog. And then as you like it, you'll get better. You'll go to more important shows. Your first dog isn't necessarily going to make the top, but you'll get a better one as the years go on. And hopefully, we'll be talking about you in the groups in time. This is Lisa Cartledge. Lisa Cork is one of our best known and part of the famous Ryslip Kennel. She has produced well known women stock. Pembrokeshire Wells Corgis and Lancashire Healers to name but a few. The Rhodesian Ridgeback, the Stanford Chihuahua, the Newfoundland, the Australian Shepherd Dog, the Airedale Terrier, the Standard Poodle, the Copper Spaniel. And the first dog to be assessed is the Houndred representative, the Rhodesian Ridgeback. 1592. He's a dog, he was awarded Best of Breed by Mr. P.M. Saunders and took the group under Mark Kokosa. A native of South Africa, the Ridgeback was bred by the Boer farmers who required a serviceable hunting dog in the wilds. They were introduced into Rhodesia in 1877 where big game hunters found them outstanding in the sport of hunting lions on horseback. Let's hear it for the Rhodesia Ridgeback 1592. have the winner from the toy group. This is the Smooth Coat Chihuahua, number 257. The breed was judged by Patrick McDevitt, and this dog was sent through to the group by Mr. T. Mervyn Evans. The Chihuahua is the smallest breed of dog in the world. 
aptly described as cheeky and with a saucy expression. The breed derives its name from the Mexican state of Chihuahua, where the breed's earliest specimens were found. It's believed that they were used in religious ceremonies and were pets to the upper classes. Put your hands together for the smooth coat Chihuahua number 257. Go from one of the smallest to one of the largest in this, the winner of the working group, the Newfoundland, number 3870, a dog. The breed was judged by Mr. G.J. Caldwell. There are many conflicting stories as to the origin of the Newfoundland. Some say he descended from the Great Pyrenees or a French hound, others that he originated in Newfoundland and his ancestors were brought there by fishermen from the European continent. The Newfoundland, 3870. Now we come to the winner of the pastoral group, and this is the Australian Shepherd Dog, number 2480, a bitch. There are many theories about the origin of the Australian Shepherd. Despite its completely new name, the breed as we know it probably developed in the Pyrenees Mountains. The Australian Shepherd 2480. This is the winner of the Terrier Group, number 1850, the Airedale Terrier. A bitch. She was awarded Best of Breed by Rodney Eastall, and then went on to take the group under Harry O'Donoghue yesterday, a native of Great Britain from the county of Yorkshire. Airedale is also known as the King of Terriers. He is the largest of all the terrier breeds and encompasses all the characteristics of this group of dogs. The Airedale Terrier, 1850. Now we come to the standard poodle, which took the utility group earlier today. Under Stuart Mallard, having won the best of breed, under Adrian Perry Coxall. of origin listed as France, but Germany is believed to have been their actual home, where it was well established as a water retriever. This is the standard poodle 4884. Now we have the last of our group winners, this being of course the Cocker Spaniel, awarded best of breed by Lorraine Palmer, and then taking your group just now under Janet Richards. This is the bitch 6613. Cocker Spaniel 
and reserve best in show is the Smooth Coach Chihuahua. Best in show judge at Richmond 2013 was Liz Cartledge. And Liz, we've seen the standard poodle winning a lot. What did you think of him? Well, I, I liked it. Well, I loved him. He was the <laughs> one that gave me goosebumps in, in there. I was given his sire best in show at the Welsh Kennel yes. Club. I've and, a, and a group on our second programme. All right. Yeah. And, and his mother, I've given her a CC. So I think the product speaks for itself, <laughs> yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. And you know, his pet name, just heard him call, is Ricky. Yeah. My late husband had an Airedale at one best in show at Crufts in 1961, and he was called Ricky. Ominous. How funny <laughs> is that? Yeah. The best in show lineup was fantastic in there. I thought it was excellent. Yeah. Yes, I was uh, very drawn to the little Chihuahua <laughs> that gave 150%. Yeah. Australian Shepherd is a great moving bitch in step with a handler. But it was a good lineup. You don't always get a good lineup, but I was lucky and I got one. There was a bit of a turn for the worst of the weather just before the group started, but you got some sunshine for the end of the day. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. Yeah, For three days it's been kind of on and off, hasn't it? Yeah. Rain, sun, no snow. No. no. <laughs> yeah, very good. Well, thank you very much, Liz, and congratulations for your standard pudding. Thank you. Reserve best in show for a second time was Misty. Congratulations, Amy, a great win. Yeah, fantastic. Can't believe it. Just really pleased how well he showed and how he put himself uh, amongst all the big dogs and everything. Full, full of personality. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you, they have to be when yeah. they're that small, you know. And he loves it in the big ring. As soon as he gets in there, he really spruces himself up. Yeah. So, and a fantastic achievement under such a well known and well respected judge as well. And he's still very young as well, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's 15 months old now. Wow. So, yeah. No, it's amazing. Great so, hope for the future. Oh, absolutely. So I'm just as long as he's enjoying it and he's showing really yeah. well and everything, that's all you can ask for. Now, this is what I like at the end of a three-day show. A nice cuddle and a catch-up with, well, now three of my favourite people. <laughs> this is Ricky. He's just one best in show. Um, Jason, you look phenomenal in there today. Thank you, thank you. I thought he showed really well today. There was a bit of a chill in the air and he, he was enjoying the weather and <laughs> he, he was really on good form. Yeah, he was. Um, Di, what was your thoughts on that Best in Show lineup? It looked absolutely incredible. Exceptional. It was a very strong lineup. There were seven good dogs in there. To me, I respect Liz. So I think she's one of our best judges. And the standard poodle and the chihuahua stood away. The standard poodle has captured all our hearts right from the puppy classes. I think he's one of the most exceptional dogs. I'm sure that in 30 years' time, when I'm writing the best 10 dicks I've ever seen, Ricky will be one of them. Wow. That's and Jason is a great handler. He lets the dog use himself. And we heard actually on our last programme, um, uh, in fact our second from last programme at Bournemouth Championship Show, where of course Ricky went best in show there, that the judge there, Bill Brown Cole, said that this standard poodle was possibly the, the best one he's ever seen from your kennel. Yeah, yeah, I mean that was a tremendous compliment coming from him because he's, he's also somebody that we have you know, so much admiration for. He's been a great breeder, he's one of the best judges in the country, so that was a tremendous compliment. And it's funny actually when we're ringside and we're actually filming the amount of gasps that we hear. Because he has this fantastic ground covering movement, he's got real reach and drive, he almost takes your breath away. Liz, who judged today, she said he almost gives you goosebumps. The dog uses himself, he uses the ring, he's a great one. And the benefit of this very clever young American handler. America's loss was our gain. <laughs> <laughs> it very much was so. Well, that, very well done to you and Ricky Thank you. again. Thank you. Thank you so much for bringing him, entering him at these shows that we keep seeing him in looking top form. Thank you, Di. It's been a pleasure as always. That's it from us here on Around the Dog World. We'll see you next time.